time of understanding the more important things to life. Yes, I mean, yabang and persona and everything else. The virus is a cruel killer, very cruel. It doesn't allow you to come close to comfort your loved ones. It doesn't even allow you to come close to mourn for those who have passed. One thing I can assure you is that this virus changes a lot of things. We're entering the next normal. But your leaders, Sinamam Dudai, Sinocheri, and everybody else, in your company, they're working hard because they also care for you. That's why they're having this series and you'll be listening to other speakers, share with you other ideas as well. Take advantage of that. We are all in this together. Now listen carefully. Speakers tend to say, we're all in the same boat. Sure, we're all in the same boat, but not everyone has the same stories. So this is a time for us to be compassionate. This is a time for us to care. This is a time for us to be patient. This is a time when you sign the family, listen to me. The we-ness is more important than the me-ness. Everybody has got to be working as one. And when we get together stronger, we will emerge even stronger. I can assure you that. I would like to encourage you with these words before I close. Be strong. We all need each other's strength. Your family needs your strength. Your family needs you to provide them with the hope and the reassurance that they need. This crisis is very real and it's a global state. But here are two things we need to realize. Number one, it's not the end of the world. And number two, this too will pass. We're going to get through this. I've been through a lot of crisis situations before. But here's what I know. Today, people tend to ask me this question. So, ano ang magiging future? My response is always being consistent. I don't know what the future holds, but I know who holds the future. This is the same person who says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. This is the same person who says, don't worry about the troubles for tomorrow because tomorrow will have troubles enough for its own. And if the father feeds the sparrows and your life and mine are more valuable than sparrows, wouldn't he take care of us? And we're his children. He'll never forsake us nor leave us. Well, this is what the next normal will be. Welcome the adventure. Learn. Don't waste the crisis and become a better person. Thank you for having me with you tonight. Thank you for your time. And I'd love to answer your questions if you want to give me your questions. Thank you. Leo, thank you. Thank you very much, sir. And uh, we have here actually um, some questions. First is, how do you share your uh, how do you share um, your products with without sounding opportunistic? Okay, let me rephrase. Like, how do you share your products without sounding opportunistic? The intention, naman po, is to offer solution. Well, uh, I would reframe my presentation by having a waiver. Whether this is pre-COVID or post-COVID or this is during COVID, we still have to say the same thing. This is to build up our immune system because our health is extremely important. The way to sound not, the way not to sound opportunistic is don't say anything about the deaths and the COVID, then you attach that to the merits of your product. This is not the time to do that. But this is the time to Feel, to pre present the feature of building health and immunity, boosting immunity as a very important fact of our, our life and specifically facing the future that is uncertain before us. All right, thank you, sir. Um, next question. If ever we go back, what is the number one skill we should learn to master while on lockdown, aside from baking and doing TikTok. The most important skill you need to have is agility. 
You have to be able to unlearn previous things you have learned. You have to be able to learn new things. And perhaps you may have to relearn certain things. Agility now is the most important thing because I, I, I don't believe in everything of his. But this time, medyo tumatama itong nagsabi na the future does not belong to the strong and the bravest and the most courageous, but the future belongs to those who are most adaptable to the change. The fluidity, agility, and guess what? Pag pinagsama-sama mo yung lahat ng mga nakakwento ko, you can put one word there, it's humility. The humility to learn things that would even challenge our age-old concept and then try out the new things. All right, thank you, sir. And then last question. Um, for all those doing the business part-time, should they evaluate their tenure in their companies or start their own business? Whether this is COVID time or pre-COVID, the answer is still the same. Technology and USANA has allowed us to do this part-time. And that's beautiful. You know why? Rather than just playing mindless video games or yung iba, watching porn or doing something else that's unproductive, you are now entering an era wherein you are able to make money out of presenting reputable and respectable good products that people can use that can enhance their health. That's good. Now, if you belong to another company and you're working there, this COVID time now will have to make you re-evaluate and readjust. Why? You will now have to understand how is, this one, how is this situation now, the next normal, affecting our existing company. Now, I want to assure you that you belong to the big ones. It will have some effects, but it will still be stay stable and strong. But if you happen to be working for smaller, smaller businesses, they may not have the resources yet. The same situation now applies. As you do your site line, which is Yusana, as you do your site hustle, which is Yusana, you have to and find out, am I, am I achieving progress? Am I, am I learning? Am I growing? Am I growing the business? Such that maybe this business now will require my full-time attention in growing this even more. So you have to evaluate both your existing employment and what your business is with your sana. And then you have to make a decision from there on. Okay, sir. I, yeah. know, I know we asked for your time, but I know. There are some more questions coming in, but this is going to be just a few. Um, they're asking if you could define time of rest. Uh, there are lots of people who have a lot of things to do. How do you force yourself to rest? Oh, time of uh, rest, R-E-S-T. Yes, sir. Got, got it, Leo. As I mentioned Kanina, you got to have routine. So yung routine na yan, just because you're working at home doesn't mean two things, extreme yan eh. Some people, because they're doing work from home, they think it's a paid vacation. It's rest all the time. When I feel like working, I'm going to work. That's going to destroy your career. That's going to destroy your business. Others naman, they go to the extreme. They begin working and working and working such that na wala na ngayon ang kanilang boundaries and then they get overwhelmed. They get they get fatigue also. Now, always remember, habang nagtatrabaho ka, every 90 minutes, you got to pause, you got to take a drink of water, you walk around, and then you stretch yourself, and then you go back, and that way you maintain your peak performance. But after work is done, you stop. And your family members should also know. They should know. Anong time you get on board and you start working, anong time you get off board and you spend time with them. And may isang bagay akong nakalimutan banggitin, Leo. This is so important. You are now experiencing both home and work in the same place at the same time. That will entail a new set of skills also. 
which I'm presenting in other seminars. Itong pinakamahalaga. Kalimutan mo na lahat ng sinabi ko. Itong pinakamahalaga. If you're staying with them, love your mother-in-law so that you will have peace and harmony at home. I think that's that's the that's the best thing. That's the best. That's the best. That's the best uh, suggestion, sir. Uh, sir, one last. This is the final. What in these trees do you think would survive in the next normal? There's going to be a lot of industries that would not only survive. These are going to thrive. Number one, healthcare. Number two, logistics. Number three, anything that has something to do with online productivity that enhances telecommuting. Uh, commuting because believe me there's going to be a lot more remote work from here on number four as we go deeper there's going to be a lot of automation there's going to be a lot of ai application and uh 3d printing could also be one of them sorry yeah that's my alarm telling me that i might go over time sorry yes okay so sir uh, any final words for your Kisana family? Well, I just want to say that in a sense, I could sense that your products are selling very well. Because I don't want every, anyone or everyone to think that this is uh, being a, an opportunist of the, um, the situation. But suddenly, I don't know if you've noticed this, the awareness on the value of health is an all-time high now. Itong bagong, uh, bagong option ng government were in uh, the uh, general quarantine. So, nagbago na. Uh, isa lang ang hindi ko gusto dyan. Yung portion about the senior citizen, ayaw pa rin payagan lumabas. Medyo, I think I will file a protest against the government for that. You know, I feel strong and I feel healthy, but the thing is, Health is not just the body. Health is also the mind, the emotions, spiritual, and all everything else combined. Yusana family, you guys are one industry wherein you continue to learn and you train and you have learning and you have learning. That's why compared to the other industries, you guys are more prepared. And I'm so happy that you have spent the night to be with me. And I just want to encourage everyone, two things again. Number one, it's not the end of the world. Number two, this too will pass. And we are going to emerge stronger than ever. Thank you very much, sir. Again, on behalf of Isana Philippines, maraming, maraming, maraming salamat po. And we would love to see you again very, very soon. Yeah, thank you. See you again. See you again, sir. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, before we continue, uh, before we hit to the end part of the uh, the training this evening, just a few reminders um, happening tomorrow. So we've had uh, Sir Francis today happening tomorrow. At the same time, we'll be having one of our elite athletes uh, for triathlon, our national athlete, Nico Huelgas, talking about discipline and consistency, a major factor. On Thursday, We'll be having another Yusana brand ambassador. We'll be having Jonathan Yabu talking about online selling from home, intermediate tips on digitizing your business. On Friday, we'll be having another Yusana elite athlete for motorsports, Miss Gabby De La Merced, talking about adopting change, focus, and determination. Also happening tomorrow for our health and freedom training is... Uh, uh, this is happening tomorrow as well for health and freedom training at uh, four o'clock in the afternoon. We'll be having our corporate pharmacist, Ms. Muriel Carille, together with uh, Colonel Henry Bumiltak, Ruby Director. And you heard it earlier, maybe you haven't seen this one, but if you want to check this out, if you are a new, pay set, a new premium blood and pay setter, you want to check this out. If you missed it, then you still have another chance. Uh, for more details, you want to check our Facebook page, or you may request for the recording of the training that happened um, a few hours earlier. Also, our leadership summit is extended, and the qualifying period is until June 26, 2020. And this is another reminder for our uh, 2C2P, our GCAS, due to unforeseen circumstances. Oh, I'm so sorry. 
Um, the GCash system activity originally scheduled on May 2 to May 3 has been removed to May 9 until May 10 instead. So for other details, you might, you might want to check our Facebook page on this. And again, this uh, for our uh, Healthy Foundation Pack, the promo is until May 1, so it's just until this Friday. What you need to do is you want to take this opportunity out. And because we want to serve you best, we want to make sure that all your deliver deliveries reach your doorstep. So you please update your home address and your contact numbers. And lastly, let this be a gentle reminder for our crusade to flatten the curve as our Isana family, we are one with the world. From our Isana Elite Athlete Philippines, please stay at home. And once again, on behalf of Isana Philippines, maraming maraming salamat po, magandang gabi sa inyong lahat.